What's up, wrestling fans? Make sure to support the show on patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show or download the Patreon app. We're under attack from YouTube and everywhere else because, hey, you can't swear anymore, and basically wrestling doesn't get any love, especially my podcast from YouTube. So we need your help on Patreon. If you like the show, support it on patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Thanks to anybody who became a patron. Yesterday we had about 15 people sign up, over 330 patrons and counting, and let's talk some wrestling news. Today we talked about Impact wrestlers claiming payment issues, but there seems to be once again a disagreement or something incorrect about these statements from uh, uh, from TNA. Rather, a number of wrestling talents recently reached out to PW Insider, um, alleging that they had not been paid for the January 2018 tapings that were held in Orlando. However, then that prompted Ed Nordholm, the owner, of course to put out this, release this information to PW Insider. Uh, it looks like via Wrestling Inc., a website that is terrified of people like me on YouTube. That's why they write um, hit pieces on us. Uh, talent is not behind on their pay. We genuinely, uh, we generally uh, provide for talent to be paid as independent contractors in the month following a month in which services are rendered. Uh, this was an improvement on our previous management where talent um, ca- caches were issued only as the actual episodes aired. So before, I guess it was when they only when they aired that they got paid. And now it's just the end of the month after they've taped them. Uh, we, we initiated, or we instituted, sorry, this is really small writing on my end. Uh, we initiated... We instituted a payment policy last year to pay for several rendered uh, in a month in the following month, regardless of when the shows would air. According uh, to our January paperwork, we're mailed earlier mid-month for November. There were some delays uh, in Christmas. Uh, this this notes that I have are the printer paper ran over onto the next page. Unfortunately, I didn't notice that. So, like, I'm trying to read a paragraph that's blending into another paragraph. Uh, we realize uh, moving our corporate offices to Canada has been a d- further delay in the mail service. So it seems like they're maybe blaming it on the mail. And only a couple talents have complained that are basically remaining unnamed at this point. So we don't know. Uh, who did that? So not really sure what's up there, but whatever. It's just more chaos over there. That's the most, uh, you know, press right now that Impact Wrestling is getting when somebody doesn't get paid or something. Also, want to remind you guys that tonight is episode 150 of Monetize This. That's right, tonight at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S., uh, which is only a few hours away. Was about four hours away. Monetize this episode 150, guys. Hope you guys join us. We start the hunt for the title again. Uh, Ken has become champion. We'll see what happens. Bailey, myself, and Leah. Uh, Tommy, who knows who could become the champion. Uh, who could become um, one of the first contestants or competitors to take on uh, Ken for his title. So, we go to WWE. WWE has confirmed the Titus Worldwide versus Raw Tag Team Champions, The Bar. Sunday's WWE Elimination Chamber, um, that will happen. So right now, what the card is looking like is we have John Cena, Elias, Braun Strowman, Roman Reigns, Intercontinental Champion, The Miz versus Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor in the Elimination Chamber. Uh, First ever Women's Elimination Chamber. Uh, Bailey, Mandy Rose, Mickey James, Sonya Deville, Sasha Banks, and Alexa Bliss, all that stuff. Titus O'Neil and Apollo Crews will take on Cesaro and Sheamus. We expected that match to be added, really, so it's not much of a big deal. Asuka versus Nia Jax. If Jax wins, she's added to the title match at WrestleMania. You almost wonder if... Somebody said, you know, Alexa Bliss could interfere, but it's like, why would why would Alexa Bliss want to add Nia Jax to the match? You know, that don't make any sense. So it would have made more sense if they had set up, uh, you know, Asuka in a feud with somebody. And if if Asuka had been in a feud with somebody, it would have been like, okay, you could see that person getting revenge on her and then causing her to lose somehow and or disqualified, and then Nia Jax gets to be in the match. But uh, I I would think that you would have Nia Jax win. I mean that you would have, uh, sorry, Asuka win. 
But, you know, I mean, who knows with what they're going to do. Who knows? We don't know. Not, uh, I'm sure we'll get more interested in Elimination Chamber as we go forward here. Um, and it's just Sunday, so you can look for my predictions on Elimination Chamber to come out on Saturday, tomorrow, at some point. I may even go live with them, but uh, we'll definitely, you know, do a video for sure. Um, filmmaker talks why Roman Reigns is named in Steroid Ring. I mean... The steroid ring th- stuff is crazy. Uh, we're not getting more uh, news on that. There was also a lot of news that Bray Wyatt um, isn't paying his child support and that he's been just buying JoJo tons of stuff, uh, which is just weird. I mean, it's coming from his ex, so who knows what's real about that. But um, those are the claims being made. Bray Wyatt says, people spread lies. You know who you are. Lies, all lies. But a wolf never loses sleep over the opinion of sheep fool so I assume that he's talking about his ex-wife there and not Matt Hardy and the whole Matt Hardy thing I mean you know I mean I take Matt Hardy's word pretty good when he says that there's that there's a lot more to come and then there you know there's going to be all this stuff that goes on uh that you know you haven't seen anything yet and that type of stuff so I mean I'm really looking forward to seeing what Matt you know, can do or will do or will be allowed to do. But, you know, so far, again, like, we know, what we've seen, as we've said, is just been evidence that it feels like Vince McMahon has gotten his kind of way with how they've neutered this, neutered this character, neutered this act that at one point I thought could take over the whole damn thing. And, uh, you know, maybe that's not what they want. But, you know, if, if you could have Elias... You know what I mean? Moving up a little peg in, in the audience, liking him even more. Rusev Day, you know, Matt Hardy. You know, you're talking about characters really coming on almost like how the 80s, in, in a way, like it's the new version of that, you know? Um, you know, you really had some characters when Macho Man and Rick Rude and Ultimate Warrior, you know, those type of guys. You're just, you're kind of missing the Hulk Hogan is the problem. I mean, I guess John Cena is still here, but, you know... Uh, you know, AJ Styles, you know, isn't really a character. He's just a great wrestler. Um, you know, there's your Ricky Steamboat sort of thing. I mean, there's just, it has a lot of those reflections. But only if these guys are all allowed to do these characters over the top like they want to. You know, the minute that someone's neutered because, oh, we don't want you to overcome this other guy. You know, they're so close to having that. If they had Matt Hardy doing a little bit better than what he's doing, Elias doing a little bit better even than what he's doing, although he's killing it, you know, Braun Strowman even doing a little bit better. You have all these kind of crazy characters right now. It's interesting how they're all kind of forming and morphing. Um, But in there you also have guys like AJ Styles who does well. And then there's Shinsuke Nakamura. Um, If only they would kind of direct him verbally a little bit differently. Um, But then there's Roman Reigns who just kind of seems like the... Roman Reigns to me is like almost become the unfun dad or like the unfun neighbor or the unfun uncle or somebody who's just like everyone's having fun and out comes Roman just like I'm Roman Reigns it's just I think flipping him heel would be amazingly great because he seems like the party pooper in all this and if you could have Reigns really be this heel I think it would be great and you you really are missing you're just missing that new number 1 you're missing that new stone cold or that new rock or that new hulk hogan that's what they're missing all these characters are starting to come into light starting to really you know the the, the chips are falling into place in a way they hadn't over the last year or two years things have been really discombobulated but right now things are starting to fall into place um and you just can't. I just can't help but think, like, if these characters get a little more squared away by the end of WrestleMania, and then you get better writing, if you could write things better, because right now the writing on Raw is just fucking terrible, and you can't tell me any different. The writing on, for the most part, writing of wrestling has been awful. Um, you know, they did a great job with the Gauntlet match because they were able to just book a wrestling show, um, which was great. But as far as storylines and creative in the back and stuff like that, um, th- they're garbage. In fact, they're piss poor. It's it's really fucking terrible. Um, so if you get better writing and you could in, uh, develop a number one star, I mean, they would be back in business. But pff, will that number one star ever show up again? And how long will it take? We're still waiting. I'm still waiting. My name is Joe Cronin. Subscribe to the channel down below if you're new, guys. Uh, support us on Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Thanks to, uh, to, uh, 
uh, Eric Sanderson, who just became a $10 patron, and to X Marty Cock, who upped his patron from 10 bucks to 15 bucks a month. Thank you guys very much, and we'll look for more new patrons tonight. And see you guys tonight on episode 150. It's going to be a party because this is a big milestone. Episode 150 of the show that's been running for over four years. Monetize this tonight at 11 p.m. right here on the Joe Cronin Show. For mature audiences only, put the kids to bed because you might get sloppy and slurped. I'll tell you that much. And if you guys missed out on my other videos, here's some more you guys can watch. Or if you're new, hit that sub button down below. And welcome to the Joe Cronin Show.